Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to make a to-do list using Django. Of course, we are going to take some help from ChatGPT. After that, we are going to deploy the Django app to production. I will provide the source code link in the description. But don't jump to the conclusion because midway I am going to show you how to solve the ChatGPT errors and make the app more dynamic. Keep in mind that the process is more fun than the end results. So, be with me in this short tutorial, and let's get started. First, I am going to create a virtual environment for this project. Although it's not mandatory, it's a good practice to do so. Next, install Django inside the virtual environment and start a Django project. Inside the settings.py, add the main app. Now, open the ChatGPT and ask it to write the codes for models.py of the to-do list. Copy and paste it inside the models.py. Next, we are going to ask ChatGPT to write the code of views.py according to the models.py. ChatGPT has added the login requirement functionality to our code. But we don't want that here. So, ask ChatGPT to modify it. Now, copy the code and paste it inside the views.py. If you read the code of views.py, you can see that ChatGPT imported task form from form.py. So, let's ask ChatGPT to write the code for that. Copy and paste it into the form.py file. We are going to add custom URLs for this Django app. So, ask ChatGPT to write the code for it. Add these custom URLs to the main urls.py file. Now, if you read the views.py file, you can see that ChatGPT has added a few HTML templates file names, like task underscore list.html, task underscore detail.html, and so on. So, let's build that. Make a templates folder inside the main app and add all the required HTML files. I am using the base.html which will contain all the core functionality of the rest of the HTML files. We will not use the same code base again and again. Instead, we simply import it from the base.html. This will get clearer to you as we proceed. Next, we will ask ChatGPT to write the code for base.html. We also want to add custom CSS. So, ask ChatGPT to update the base.html file.
Next, ask ChatGPT to write the code for task underscore detail dot HTML, task underscore form dot HTML, and custom CSS file. Update the base.html. Next, migrate the Django app, create the super user, and run the server. Okay, the app looks horrible. Now you guys can be sure that the AI won't take your job. Also, this app has so many errors I guess. So, let's fix this. Now, I asked ChatGPT to update the base.html and style.css according to the to-do list application we are building and make it dynamic and responsive. Also, update all the HTML files accordingly. Now if you refresh the tab, you will see a lot better UI of the to-do app. But wait, it still has lots of errors. So let's fix it.
Now, to fix this error, simply copy this error and paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to solve it. ChatGPT is saying that we have to update our form.py. So let's update it. Oh, an error again. But this time, ChatGPT is showing the long solution to the error. I don't want to follow that. Let's simply go to models.py and remove the user. Migrate the application again, because we made changes to models.py. Now, run the server and test the application. You can easily add a to-do task without any issues. We're getting a minor issue while updating the to-do. Let's fix it. Now, everything is working perfectly. You can customize the UI according to your project preferences. But for me, it looks just fine. You can go to the Django admin and look for the information we just added to the to-do list. Oh, I forgot to write the code in admins.py. Let's register our model in the admin.py file. Perfect. Everything looks great. Congratulations, you have successfully built a Django to-do list application. Next, we're going to deploy this app to production. But before that, upload your code to GitHub and make the repository public. If you make the repository private, we will not be able to host the app, and we might have to pay for it. I'm sure you know how to push your code to GitHub. So, I'm skipping that part. If you don't know, leave a comment below, and I will make a quick video on that. Now, go to pythonanywhere.com, make a free account, and verify your email. After that, you will see a dashboard like this. You can see that I uploaded the to-do list code to my GitHub. So, first, we're going to clone this repository to the Bash console. You can see it on the screen as well. After that, we're going to create a virtual environment. The name of the virtual environment will be my virtual env. Here, I'm going with Python version 3.10. Make sure to go with the latest one that supports the Python Anywhere console. After creating the virtual environment, install the Django framework using pip. Now, go to the Web App section and select the Open Web tab. Then, click on Add a New Web App. If you want to go with a custom domain, you have to choose a paid plan for this. But here, I'm going with a free plan. Next, quick start a Django project. It may take a few minutes. Okay, so our domain URL is bugnianza7.pythonanywhere.com. 
you can test it in a new tab window. Now, we just have to add our to-do list to the project. In the virtual in section, we will add the virtual environment we just created. Inside the files, you can see the virtual in section. We just have to copy the path of our virtual environment. Click on my virtual in, copy the path, and paste it here. Next, we're going to add the source code path. Again, go to the files, then to do list Django. Copy the path and paste it there. Now, we have to configure the WSGI file. Update the project home path and Django settings module path. Now, if you reload the Django app URL, we get the error. Disallowed hosts. This is because we haven't allowed the host URL in the settings.py file. For this, go to the GitHub repository, then go to the to-do list settings, and add the domain name to allowed hosts and commit the changes. Let's reload the configuration for bugnianza7.pythonanywhere.com. However, we still get the same error because we haven't pulled the changes to the server yet. So, let's do that now. Execute the command git pull and reload the configuration again. Once done, reload the tab to see that our Django app is now live. Remember to migrate the Django app before testing it live. That's all for this video. Please show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you.